I work at the Cleveland School of the Arts, and it's a very special place, as you can see from the promotional video that I put together at animoto.com. If you want it, don't sweat it, homie, go get it If you're trying and it gets you down, don't let it Take it from me, man, I've been around, don't sweat it It's all better when you go for yours If I want something, I'ma go get it At first it be all struggle, then it's all credit See, back in the day, getting on was mad hectic Looking for my start in hip-hop like Cedar and Sedwick I knew I loved music, ideas sparked the fuse lit I had talent and knew it, but had yet to prove it, yo I ran the ciphers and the show stupid And when I couldn't catch a ride, yo I just truth to going through it Yeah, you know the movement You wanna do it too Make your dreams come true Be seen from a different view I was viewed as a different dude Before the songs, interludes, and interviews I was just trying to get food Before hopping on tours I had to mop floors Was booed long before any applause or awards Lord, to prepare for where I was headed I was tested No handouts, I had to go get it, man Go get it If you want it, don't sweat it, homie Go get it If you're trying and it gets you down Don't let it Take it from me me, man, I've been around, don't sweat it It's all better when you go for yours, go get it If you want it, don't sweat it, homie, go get it If you're trying and it gets you down, don't let it Take it from me, man, I've been around, don't sweat it It's all better when you go for yours Now I got a little something, but I ain't got it all I thought I got what I wanted, but need a little more A lot has changed from my struggle before It's like a tug of war Between what I'm now seeing and what I thought I saw Is what I'm pursuing, illusion or confusion So I think time to reevaluate what I'm doing, I see my mans and them hustling, they juggling bad This one I realize I gotta give thanks for what I have It's not much but more than most, there's some that's been through it before So I go and seek advice from some older folks Grandma said no patience, you won't make it And giving false images of success, never take it Greatness ain't a mistake and watch for the fake Just cause they're making money doesn't mean they have good taste You can waste your time trying their way, but you'll regret it I just keep my own focus and check it, go get it man Go get it, if you want it don't don't sweat it, homie, go get it If you're trying and it gets you down, don't let it Take it from me, man, I've been around, don't sweat it It's all better when you go for yours, go get it If you want it, don't sweat it, homie, go get it If you're trying and it gets you down, don't let it Take it from me, man, I've been around, don't sweat it It's all better when you go for now, yours If you want something, go get it This is for my go-getters, getting more betters At first it be all struggle, then it's all credit Create your own lane, baby, make your own lane now go get it if you want it don't sweat it homie go get it if it gets you down don't let it you know the flow's called below zero frigid i mastered the art of kicking lyrics from the spirit go get it you know what i'm saying so the moral of the story is simple as this if you want it Go get it, man. Go get, get it. it. If you want it, don't sweat it. Hurry up. Go get it. If you're trying and it gets you down, don't let it. Take it from me, man. I've been around. Don't sweat it. It's all better when you go for yours. Pretty impressive, wouldn't you agree? Our school, however, is not just arts based. We are also a college prep program. And that's where I come in. I am an English teacher. And I've developed a program using the concept of DOT to make standard English meaningful to students. About two years ago, my teacher, Ms. Stack, came up with this bright idea called DOT. And it's when, it's like when you have a big piece of paper, imagine a big piece of paper with an itty bitty dot on it, and that's considered your community. Every community has a, has a different way of speaking. Students are always quick to remember their introduction to the DOT program, where they are asked to put a small dot on a piece of paper. That dot then represents their area, their space in the world. And it seems like the entire group has an epiphany when they start to realize exactly how small and how isolating that area is. This gives further credence for their desire to learn a language that will take them further outside of that area.
One of the beautiful things about the DOT program is the amount of respect given to everybody's informal English. No one is criticized for speaking English in their own way. Rather, DOT, informal English, is discouraged from being used in common places such as school. Places where we come together with people from other communities, where all of our dots connect, we need a common language, and that language is standard English. So our students are taught in order to connect, they must use a language common to others. That gives credence to everybody's language, regardless of ethnicity and their background and beliefs. But when we get to school and in standardized places, we all have to have one language, and that's what we share. This year I've developed a website specifically for 6th and 7th grade students and their families. This site will help keep families updated on what's going on in the classroom. It will also be used as an aid for students who outside of the classroom may need extra help. Links are given for each subject to help with that content area. This year in English, we'll be using a wiki site so students can explore both in and out of school some of the lessons that we've been learning in the classroom. This will help them collaborate on English projects as well as give them a little more experience with this form of technology. Listening to my dot allows students to hear how silly a dot can sound to those who don't speak it. I have one too. It's different from your dot. And I'm going to guess when I speak my own dot, it's going to make you giggle. So in my own dot, I might say, excuse me, you're out of dress code. Take that sugar schmack off your head. <laughs> <laughs> you guys laugh because you don't speak my dot. That sounds crazy to you. Mm -hmm. Sounds funny. <coughs> well, when you speak your dot to people who are not part of your dot, that's exactly how it sounds. Eventually, signs and banners show up all around the school to help our students remember that they are in a dot-free zone. In English, I even give students the chance to write about dot. Hello, my name is Dr. Barbara Walton. I'm principal of Cleveland School of the Arts. We are trying to prepare our children for the world that's ahead of them. So I am very thankful for Sue Stack for interview, uh, introducing to us the world of DOT. I definitely recommend the DAP program for other teachers, but I think it's important that you not only practice uh, your English in English classes and writing classes, I think you should also uh, carry your English skills throughout the whole school. Uh, lunch, you know, science, math, any of your classes, I think you should uh, always win in school. Oh, I love you, Ms. Tech. I like, I like the dot sign. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share my project with you. One last shout out to all the teachers in the Cleveland Metropolitan School District. Urban teaching offers many challenges, but together we can make a difference.